the high seas, high seas. Cast my line, now they're biting. Rocky coast and lighthouses, what she knows now I doubt it. Talk to me nice. I think your confusion starts with street lights. Hi everybody, welcome to your August 2018 readings with me. Uh, so I wanted to record a little bit of an intro video. I'm going to try my best not to make it too long, guys, but you know me. I love talking to you. So this month's videos are a bit different. I'm using my Triple Goddess Tarot deck, and I'm only using this except for in Gemini's video because Gemini had the, the most views last month, so I did pull a few extra cards for the Gemini reading, but this is what the box looks like. A lot of people ask me about this deck. Um, I got it at a spiritual shop in the mall. But very, very cool imagery, and I have never seen anyone else use it. So it's the Triple Goddess deck. If you want to look for the author, it's going to be listed in the description if you guys are interested in this tarot deck. I think it's a really nice deck. So anyways, guys, as far as the reading goes, the readings go this month, um, they're very intuitive. I don't have any kind of setup, which is kind of strange for me, especially when Virgo season is this close. I usually have uh, some sort of more detailed layout, but I wanted to just flow. Another cool fact about this month's readings is that I'm using reversals. This this deck is uh, very very cool for reversals because the the back of the cards, no matter what way they're fa what way they're uh, faced, they're the same imagery kind of. So I used uh, reversals this month, which opened up a whole new can of worms, a whole new world. Um, you know, I do reversals sometimes, but I've never really done them as far as my um, personal readings or I've never done them in my monthly re readings, but if a card comes out and it's reversed, of course I'm going to read it as reversed. But um, yeah, uh, this this time there's cards that are actually in reverse in my, as I shuffle them in the deck, not that they just fall out and turn reverse themselves. So reversals this month, you guys, uh, which is really unique because these cards have completely different meanings when they're in reverse. So I have opened up reversals for this month. So that's a cool fact. Other than that, um, there's I have a six card spread, basically the three three cards for the first couple weeks of the month, and then three cards for the the last half couple weeks of the month. So yeah, guys, um, definitely interesting energy coming out so far for August. I have not recorded all the entire videos yet as I record this intro. But so far, there, there's a lot of energy that I feel in the readings. There's a lot of hard messages coming out. And I think that's because this month is mainly experienced with the, like, seven planets retrograde. We have so many planets in retrograde pushing us to, like, reflect and reflect on all these hard different areas of our life. Saturn's retrograde, Chiron, Neptune, I believe Mars, and uh, I think Pluto's still retrograde, and... Uh, Jupiter went direct and Venus went direct. So there you go. The only two planets that are direct right now are oh, and Mercury's retrograde too, of course. Mercury is about to go direct though, guys, um, in a few days, around the 19th, I believe. So uh, we'll have to get through the shadow period of that, but there is seven planets retrograde with only two planets straight up, which is Venus and Jupiter. Oh, and Neptune's retrograde too. So there, I must have named all the planets now. The only two direct, as I've already mentioned, is Venus, who's in Libra. So as far as, uh, you know, August goes, you guys, this is Virgo and Leo energy. Hopefully you like my, my little Leo theme here. I put on my cheetah bathing suit for the theme. Um, so yeah, the mo most of this month, I believe, belongs to Leo. I believe September is Virgo's month because we go into to September in Virgo season. We go into August in Leo season. So as I've mentioned in my, my new moon video, there, there was an eclipse in Leo this month on the 11th. We've had three eclipses this month, you guys. Three, well, not this month, but we had a eclipse in Cancer, lunar, solar, I think it was solar, lunar, solar. And uh, as the Leo King mentioned, we have not had that happen since 2011, I believe, maybe 2009. It's been a few years. It's been a, This is very rare for us to have three eclipses. Usually we only have two. Sometimes we have four, but three is very rare. So it's kind of like a trinity. If you ask me, I feel like Cancer, Aquarius, and Leo are up to something since those were the three signs involved with the eclipses energy. But yeah, guys, we just got through... As I record this, it's uh, August fifteenth. We have we have got gotten through the um, the major eclipse energy, which is super 
sudden changes, new beginnings and endings. Eclipses can cause all these random energies in your life. Now, eclipses are cycles of six. So um, these can affect us up to the six, six, six months. And we're dealing with the North Node in Leo and the South Node in Aquarius, which are going to be there until mid-November, I believe. So this is very much opening up you know, doors to past lives, you guys, and, and, and things about the life we're about to enter. This is the North Node and the South Node. I'm going to have videos coming out about that. But guys, these, these eclipses fall on the North and South Node pathways. So, you know, the next series of eclipses we're going to have are going to be in Cancer and Capricorn. So Cancer, Capricorn, get ready uh, for this eclipse energy um, and for, for the moons, North and South Nodes to enter your sign. So as I was saying, guys, this month is shared by Leo and Virgo energy. So Leo energy is all about, it's the fifth house, right? So we go into August with this fifth house energy of pleasure. Leo is all about pleasure. Leo is ruled by the sun. So for the first half of August, we are under the influence of the sun in integrity. The sun is very, very comfortable in Leo. The sun rules Leo, right? So this is about the center of our galaxy, the center of our universe, right? Who we are, almost like ego a little bit. We, we know like Leos are the, the prideful lions. So, you know, this is about who we really are. Leo is about authenticism, authenticity. So this is about our heart's true desires. And this is the North Node, you guys. So this is the sun passing over the North Node. This is Mercury retrograde in Leo. You know, we had at one point around the 11th, we had the moon and the sun and Mercury in the North Node all together as a stellium. So Leo energy is very important. Leo energy has been important and will be important up until November. Leo energy is always important, but it's just really highlighted in our universe right now with the sun being there, ruling Leo, ruling awareness and happiness and warmth and light and the inner child and, you know, like I said, the heart. So, you know, this month is really about our heart's desires and this the new moon, which is one of the major things happening in the, this month in Leo is uh, very important for setting new intentions. I have a whole video about the new moon. So if you wanna check that out, that that's in my videos. Um, but as far as August, guys, I just know that, you know, we had Venus and Virgo for most, for the first, we went into August with Venus and Virgo, I believe. Venus just now entered Libra. It's gonna be there for the, for the all of August and it will eventually move into Scorpio. Um, Mercury is retrograde. Uh, Saturn, I'm sorry, Jupiter has went direct. Uh, all the retrogrades are really important for this month because, like I was mentioning, this is definitely things coming back up from the past. When we have seven planets in retrograde, it's nearly in, this is retrograde city, just like the Leo King says. Um, I've been watching him a lot lately. Um, we have a full moon. Holy crap. Can't forget to mention that, guys. Uh, I'm just trying to be a little bit brief here because I am making some changes that I'm, I'm going to talk to you about here in a bit. Uh, but there is a full moon in Pisces at the end of the month, guys. This is very important. I'm not going to talk too much about that right now because you know me. I'm always going to have videos for the Pisces full moon and or for full moons and new moons and eclipses and stuff like that. So please keep an eye out for my Pisces full moon video where I, I'm going to pull... Uh, a tarot card for all the 12 signs as far as guidance and then you know I'll just channel some stuff about Pisces energy and the full moon energy so yeah guys new moon in Leo this month full moon in Pisces at the end of the month uh, Mercury retrograde Venus and Virgo moved into Libra uh, Mars is moved into Capricorn uh, where it's exalted Mars was in Aquarius Mars was featured in that, that full moon uh, eclipse in Aquarius last month. Now it's back in Capricorn, um, and it'll be there for a while, and then it'll move, go back into Aquarius. It'll head back into Aquarius as it goes back direct. Um, and then, you know, Jupiter, I mentioned, is back back direct, which is really awesome. Um, in Scorpio energy, so this is definitely, uh, you know, this is our fortune. This is expansion moving forward now. It's always good to have a planet back so there's going to be this Neptune and, and Jupiter trine going on this month, too. There, that's another thing I wanted to mention is, is this month, uh, especially in the beginning of the month, there was a lot of squares. Like, if you guys watch the planets, if you if you deal with Planet Watcher, um, there was the sky. Look, you can actually pull up a picture of the sky, and the sky looked nuts. I mean, there was all these red lines and squares. Oh, it was definitely... A, a nice visual of what actually is going on lots of squares squares are, are really really harsh energies that 
you know, they just kind of, they need to compromise. You need to meet halfway with squares. So we had a lot of squares, guys. And, um, you know, I'm sure we're all feeling this kind of jarring energy. We're feeling very, very conflicted and, you know, confused. But, you know, this energy is going to pass, you guys. Virgo energy is coming in this month, okay? So we're going to spend the first half of the month really assessing our true heart's desires, stepping into this the, the new version of ourselves that Leo is showing us. This has to do with our destiny and where we're going in life with the North Node. So you want to follow your true heart's direction. And then, you know, at the, last, at the second half of the month, we move from this fifth house energy collectively to this sixth house energy, which is health. The health of our universe is going to come up. The lifestyle we're all living collectively. The service we offer others. This is Virgo. And Virgo is good with details, okay? Virgo is this earth energy. We haven't had earth energy since Taurus. So this has been a few months here without earth. So this is all going to ground, you know, uh, the the passion that we're feeling. And all, even some of us are feeling angry and just kind of wired and like, I don't know, jet lagged, whatever you want to call it. Like we have all this energy, but no drive. Um, but Mars is going to help with that. And then, you know, Virgo is going to come in and ground all this for us and logically analyze, you know, what's real about our lifestyle. I like Virgo. You know, I'm a Pisces. Virgo is my opposite sign. This is a seventh, the seventh house for, for Pisces. And again, guys, in the videos, I'm going to be breaking down where Leo is for all of you guys independently and where Virgo is. So we've got fifth house and sixth house energy, which means we're experiencing the cusp of exposure, exposure this month. So the Leo Virgo cusp is the cusp of exposure. So this cusp is obviously going to expose some deep, deep things about our lifestyle and about our pleasures and about um, maybe our hidden pleasures and how fun our lifestyles actually are or aren't. Um, but the cusp of exposure can expose anything. You know, anytime anything moves from Leo to Virgo, it goes through the cusp of exposure. That might be something that you want to look up, especially if you're born around the 17th and the 25th of August. This is that really heavy exposure energy where things are going to come up to the surface and, you know, really weird times, you guys. Um, but as a Pisces, my advice is always to, to go with the flow and you know, to just kind of take it easy as the universe sorts some of this stuff out, okay? The universe has gone through a lot of changes, too. A lot of people don't realize that the universe has a body, too, a mind, a heart, a head, a, a purpose, a desire. So these things are all working themselves out as above, so below, the universe within us, us within the universe. So, you know, I just, I think we should just look forward to some of the details becoming more grounded at the end of the month. And um, like I said, that, that cusp of exposure that the sun's going to go through and the moon and, you know, the moon becoming full in Pisces at the end of the month, which wraps up our whole entire zodiac. And then we start fresh with a new full moon in Aries next month when Libra season comes in. You know, we're, we're at August, guys. Uh, it's it's kind of nuts, but... Um, yeah, uh, and also I just want to mention here before I end the video and head into the, the readings, guys, I think I'm going to start doing things a little bit differently. Um, I'm not really sure if it's necessary anymore to have, you know, intros in my videos. I don't know, guys. I might record very short intros like, hey, guys, welcome to your video. See you. Bye. But as far as the astrology that I go into, um, I've had a lot of signs from my personal spirit, guys, to just kind of switch that up. I'll be able to get my videos a lot, out a lot earlier, a lot sooner. It's these intros that kind of, you know, keep me from having my videos out at the beginning of August. I always have my videos come out like mid end of the month. And it's like, why does anyone want to hear about August when, you know, my July videos were really late too. I didn't get many um, people watching those messages. So I think it's just best if I start recording my astrology videos separately. So for those of you who, who really like hearing about, you know, different planets and where they're, those are at. I'm going to start uploading separate astrology videos about Jupiter and Neptune and Mercury and retrogrades and squares and all that. That way I can kind of fully focus on astrology in one area and then I can focus on tarot here. So I think in September I'm really going to start that, guys, where um, when you click on my video, there's no longer an intro. You just get right in. And I'm going to try not to talk too much about astrology because there's some people who really just don't have the time to li listen to my videos for hours. All my videos are like hours long. So there is some changes coming to my channel, guys. Um, and I just think that's for the best. But for those of you who really do like astrology, that's still going to be available for you. I'm still open for personal readings. Um, thank you so much to those who have donated and who have um, helped me out. 
by just supporting my channel. As you guys know, some of you who have watched me for a while now, I don't work in the physical world as of right now. Uh, who knows? I might in the future, but for a while now, I've just really been diving into my own creative, spiritual Pisces second house. Uh, my my resources come from very spiritual things. So I just want to personally thank all of you who reach out to me and trust me with your spiritual guidance. It means the world to me. This is something I'm very passionate about. So thank you guys for watching. And those of you who have su subscribed and supported me, it means so much. Welcome to all the new watchers. Um, all the the cross watchers and people who are new watching for the first time i hope you enjoy and without further ado let's jump in to your personal readings guys bye hi virgo what's going on uh, i'm like always excited to talk to you guys i've got some sage burning here um in my little cauldron and i've also got an instant burning for you guys too and i've got the flame for leo season so virgo Welcome to August 2018. How do you feel about your birthday being so fucking close? It's literally, holy shit, uh, about five days away. Virgo season, well, no, okay. Virgo season starts on August 23rd. So we've got like about a week left of Leo season. So Virgo, this is a very special video for you this month because when it comes to August energy, August is always a time for you to be subconsciously prepared for your solar return. So Leo season for you represents your subconscious which for me is very interesting because the subconscious could be very dark and hidden the subconscious house is the 12th house of Pisces so the 12th house is your opposite house um, Leo is the sixth house of Pisces Leo is the 12th house of Virgo so Pisces are dealing with Virgo energy because you're the sixth house Virgo and Virgo is dealing with Pisces energy because Pisces is the 12th house so Leo energy in astrology represents the subconscious spiritual house of sacrifice for Virgo. So this is a time of year where, you know, you probably feel a lot of that energy in your subconscious. Please pay attention to your dreams in August. Please pay attention to your dreams in September because this is the sun getting very fucking close to becoming in your sign. So you guys are about to experience a, a conscious upgrade with the sun moving into your sign for your birthday so what that means is the sun is returning back to where it was exactly when you were born so this is a conscious upgrade this is like you becoming aware of another year's worth of information you know what i mean this is you being on earth for another year your solar returns your birthday i'll be right back virgo my alarm is going off it's six o'clock so you know, this is just a very important time for you, Virgo. It's it's really interesting, though, because Leo season has been really, really unique. Leo is the, is ruled by the sun, right? Leo is this happy, flamboyant, um, king and queen, royal, ego, pride, childlike, fun, pleasure energy, right? And we take all of that excitement in the sun's energy and we put it into a house for Virgo that's very s spiritual and sacrificing and and hidden so if you, it's it's it makes you a very unique person virgo all virgos have leo as their 12th house and maybe even virgo rising has leo as their 12th house so virgos naturally have to sacrifice the child within them like you guys are angels right so you naturally have to sacrifice the the inner child just like capricorn you know there's there's an energy here about virgo having to sacrifice things from a very young age you know you guys sacrifice your own happiness and this is because happiness in the sun and, and light and all of that is in your 12th house so there's even things about love that you sacrifice virgo the 12th house is all about sacrifice it's all about surrender and in hidden energy it's your subconscious so this dark energy like the moon controls the subconscious right cancer pisces energy but the sun is your subconscious so everything that that's why you're so strong mentally virgo because you have your subconscious house of leo is ruled by the sun so there's things that you're just subconsciously aware of you know you have that psychic ability just like pisces you just don't use it as much as pisces does because you're stuck in the reality right you're you're the house you're the house of six so you're all about logic and reality you're you're an earth sign so it's about grounding sometimes you guys have visions about certain things um, and it's about the light and the dark. So as a Virgo, 
the light and the dark are very mixed for you. Masculine, feminine energies, uh, good and evil. As an angel, you have awareness of this, right? And there's certain sacrifices that the universe has asked Virgos to make on a collective scale, you know, in the name of being able to see in the dark, basically. So people who have Leo moon, Leo 12th house, Leo 8th house, it's all very weird to mix that light of a sign, Leo, with the darkness. So Virgo and Capricorn and people who have Leo moons, very interesting uh, combination of the light and the dark. So what this means basically is that you light up the darkness, you know, like you're able, you have night vision, you're able to see into the subconscious of other people. You can even, you have the ability to enlighten things that are at a subconscious level. So this is kind of difficult when you look at a person and you can see into their subconscious, you're able to see their soul, you're able to see their, what they hide, um, you're able to see what they're thinking at a subconscious level when they might not even be that aware. So you're very subconsciously aware, Virgo, because Leo is your 12th house and because you're the opposite of Pisces. So you have a hidden awareness of that 12th house energy anyways because Pisces is your opposite sign. And so speaking of that, I might as well mention that at the end of the month here, we have a, a Pisces full moon. There's always a Pisces full moon in Virgo season because the sun is in Virgo and then the moon is going to be you know, opposite of that. So we do have a new moon in Virgo in September too. So this full moon in Pisces is happening in your 12th house, I'm sorry, in your seventh house of relationships. So when you have a full moon in your house of relationships, this is a, a lot of light there um, about the, like this is a lot of subconscious light. So there's a lot of subconscious energy for you this month, Virgo, with Leo being your 12th house and Pisces being your opposite sign and the moon of being subconscious ruled there. So this is a very internal energy that you, you know, you really might be being really internal about things, keeping a lot of thoughts to yourself, like always, um, and getting ready to step into the, your first house of self. Before we can learn about who we are, we have to learn about, you know, what we're releasing and we have to learn about ourselves spiritually. This is why technically Pisces comes before Aries. Pisces is the only area, uh, the only energy that can, that can theoretically come before Aries, even though Aries is the first sign, Pisces season brings in Aries season every year when we just like there's a Pisces full moon before the Aries full moon next month. So um, this full moon is, is going to bring a lot of light and awareness to the subconscious details and secrets in your relationship. So this is going to be interesting. You know, the, the 12th house does have a lot to do with secrets and hidden information. So there's a lot of that uh, being exposed this month. Interesting that I say exposed because we have the, the cusp of exposure this month with you and Leo. You and Leo are really teaming up this month. You know, uh, August is shared by Leo and Virgo for a reason. So around the 17th to about the 25th, we have this cusp of exposure where Leo and Virgo energy are combining. And so the Leo-Virgo cusp is the cusp of exposure, which means this could be a, a time in August where things are very highlighted and exposed coming to the surface okay so this is a month I'm already I don't even know what's coming up for you in the cards yet but this is a month where there's a lot coming you know this is about the Sun coming into your first house and when the Sun is in your sign there's a profound amount of awareness the Sun controls awareness right and the Sun is ruled by Leo so right now we're all becoming aware of things and also Virgo is, is has a very unique sense of awareness right now because of the way that everything's lining up for you right so this is this month is your 12th house and your first house the the subconscious version of you in the so this is your moon sign and your your sun sign so for those of you who know your moon sign and your your sun sign you might want to you know watch both of those videos and and definitely keep an eye on the relationship you have between your sun and your moon as a virgo because your moon and your sun are very linked there's a lot of eclipse energy with virgo just being a virgo because the moon and the sun kind of combine so interesting month there Virgo you're getting ready to step into a lot of new awareness about all things okay about life about happiness about you about yourself so please know at the end of the month that this has everything to do with you this is gonna be your energy is gonna be brought to the forefront Virgo you're not gonna be able to be a hermit not not spiritually at least you might actually be a physical hermit you might not but you know birthdays and stuff it brings you around other people right it brings you out to celebrate that you, you have to see uh, see people that you haven't seen in a while because they want to give you presents and and all these things so you're gonna be 
the sun is going to shine on you. Like the spotlight is going to be on you, Virgo. And I know you guys can be a little bit shy, some of you. But just get ready for that, okay? So I think that's all, you know, as far as, you know, I know for the first half of the month, Venus was in Virgo. So there's a lot here about love. And it's interesting, Venus is in your second house now of resources and finances. So that might help your little Virgo self out a little bit, especially because at the bottom of the deck, I just happened to see the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you guys are coming out of poverty. You're starting new jobs. Uh, finances are starting to look up for you. So yeah, that just that's what just popped out there is that five and seven of pentacles there. So there may need to be some balance here with Venus being in your second house because we're missing the six of pentacles, which is balance. Just make sure you're getting what you deserve, Virgo, in your jobs and in your relationships. You guys are the house of service. So, you know, September, it's like you guys don't even really get to enjoy your birthdays because you're all about being of service to others. So it's really hard for Virgo to allow um, other people to be service to them. Now we have the moon here. This is the Pisces energy. This is that Pisces moon at the end of the month. But this is also that subconscious energy and uh, the subconscious 12th house. And um, this is about Leo being your 12th house with that fire flame there. And um, yeah, this could be a significant Pisces here um, or that Pisces full moon. Now, it is a Pisces though because I'm seeing that there's the king of cups behind this Pisces energy. So some of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This moon card could be a Cancer too, but... There's something here about a cycle that's not ending. Now, the moon talks about cycles, okay? This is an emotional cycle for you, Virgo. And cycles are coming up a lot for you guys um, because you're going through a solar return. So this means that the, the sun has returned completely around the wheel back to you. So please keep in mind, um, be open to things ending and beginning this month. And I do see that there are financial improvements with Venus in the second house. I mean, Venus is very comfortable in the second house because she rules the second house. She's very comfortable in uh, Venus. She's very um, she's very comfortable in Libra. She's very comfortable in Taurus. Now, Venus was not very comfortable in Virgo. Apparently, Venus is in fall position. We call a planet. We call a planet in the fall position when it's in a very uncomfortable sign. Venus does not like to be in Virgo. So, the card coming out is 10 of, 10 of Pentacles, Queen of Cups at the bottom. So, 10 of Pentacles in reverse is not the best card. Now we have the 10 of Swords. Um, so this is, oh yeah, Ten of Wands, uh, Death card. So we've got a message coming out here for you, Virgo, already, um, about balance, about juggling, about, uh, not walking away from, you know, certain paths that no longer, you know, they're, they're no longer valuable to you. This is you juggling two different, two different paths. You know, we do have Mercury retrograde, so there is a lot here about the past. We do have that R there, so this is about retrograded paths. You, um, maybe walking backwards, you know, not walking away from certain things. And this has to do with an Aquarius or your dreams or your faith because we do have the Aquarius here. Now we have, your reading is interesting, Virgo, because we have the, um, the sun and Aquarius. So this is Leo and Aquarius. Now some of you guys have a Leo in your life that is not very happy because the sun is in reverse. So this means depression and darkness and sadness. We have the sun and the star here. So this is like universal energy. This is very galactic energy when we have the sun and the star. Now, the sun is a star. So this is about your 12th house, Virgo. This is about, you know, your dreams and your you, you healing depression and coming out of a time of deep sadness. And like, you know, this is you like not having clarity over your faith right now or you you don't you can't see when the sun is in reverse you can't really see and this does have to do with a wish because we have the the star card and we have the nine of cups so there's something that and then we have the the king of um the king of swords in reverse so we have two energies here that talk about not having clarity over what you really want not having clarity over what your what your wishes are see this is this is a wish energy that came out with a, 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 the sun in reverse, which talks about not having clarity. So now I know that what my cards are trying to tell me is that Virgo is not communicating or they're not clear. They can't see what they want. You know, you can't see what you want. You might be feeling emotionally drained, you know. There might not be a lot of love in your life. So you're having mental anxiety over, like, love and emotion. But there is something here about not being happy, not being able to see, and therefore not being able to... You know, know what you want. You don't know what would make you happy right now. And that's why you're juggling. So there's some emotional... This this could be something ending this month with a, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or something ending emotionally. 
because we have the, the the queen of cups here pisces cancer scorpio female energy with the ten of swords so this could be a very this could be a, a water sign in your life that's in a lot of pain that's about to end something completely this could be you and your own emotions though virgo because this is your reading so you might have water energy i want you guys to think about your water placements in your birth chart and how there could be a lot of mental anxiety surrounding those emotions because we had another message back here about um mental anxiety surrounding your emotions because we have the nine of swords there with the ace of cups in reverse so this is a uh, mental anxiety surrounding your emotion this is you have staying up late at night not getting the best sleep and then we have emotion again with the ten of swords so this is mental anxiety surrounded by emotion and we had a lot of tens come out there we had the ten of swords and the ten of wands so this is a very heavy burden i want you guys to pay attention to any burdens that you have mentally this is a mental heavy burden that the universe wants you guys to drop and walk away from um, in order to transform in August okay this is transformation this is a Scorpio energy so there might be a, a burden here connected to some kind of air, air sign Libra Gemini Aquarius Sagittarius uh, Aries Leo or Scorpio this could just be transformation though there's burdens in your life that are dying there's burdens in your life that you know you no longer need to give life to Virgo this is transformation you know this is an ending so we had the ten of pentacles we had the ten of swords and we had the ten of wands so these are three tens already in your reading telling me that cycles are very important um you know there's going to be a lot of new beginnings and endings now keep in mind after the ten of pentacles after the ten of swords after the ten of wands is the ace of pentacles ace of swords ace of wands so in order to start something new we have to end something old right so we've got the ten of pentacles as your first card out um in reverse so before i start channeling and getting distracted i just want to kind of focus on virgo and get them the rest of their messages for august 2018 so what's the messages for virgo for august 2018 august 2018 virgo august 2018 virgo okay and we had the king of swords up right now that was in reverse, so there's something here. Now, you're going to be gaining clarity over the way your emotions are getting drained, Virgo. Now, I know you're an earth sign, but earth signs are very sensitive. And earth signs often, um, because you're ruled by earth and you're the opposite of water, uh, you don't really, you know, pay attention to your emotional bodies a lot. But you guys have a lot of feelings here draining out. This could be the refusal of a new love, just some, some kind of new love in your life, not starting off and then we have the nine of wands and the seven of wands so there's definitely something here that um you've fought you know there's a there's a defensiveness here in a relationship and you're not standing up for yourself virgo you know this is you not standing up for yourself not taking a stand um but this is also you not being defensive anymore so you might just be a little bit less defensive here emotionally even though you're feeling drained and then there's the libra card in reverse so venus is in libra Libra is your second house, so there might be something here. Yeah, now Libra and the in this these this card is together. So this is telling this is talking about your Libra second house, Virgo. Your Libra second house is all about your finances. So you're juggling something financial that really needs balance because the justice card in reverse is about not having balance. So there's something um financial or something something about your worth and your value that is that you're juggling and that is not balanced like the two of pentacles does not speak of balance it speaks of a decision so you really might uh you might need to make a decision about a career you might be walking a career path maybe you have two different jobs and maybe you're just not feeling really balanced because you're doing all work and you know you're not really moving forward any though you know this is about you not gaining clarity this is like bad karma or something that you're juggling um, with two different careers it's just not this is not financial balance keep in mind that Venus is in your second house trying to add abundance to to Virgo's resources so this is your resources you juggling resources trying to make ends meet and um, you know you not gaining financial justice and that might be why um, that might be something that comes up in August a lot or yeah for August a lot for you and keep in mind we will have Libra season soon and um you know that's gonna definitely be when the sun is in your second house when you're aware of all this 
So there's something that might be what's draining Virgo emotionally, all the lack of justice and the lack of balance. And maybe there's a Libra you're dealing with because we do have Libra upside down here. So if you are dealing with a Libra, they're juggling something. They're not very fair to you. Um, this is like not having mental clarity over something because she's blindfolded. You see, this is and look at that full moon. So this might have to do with the full moon at the end of the month and you not gaining justice uh, over some sort of new love or emotion, you know, because we do have the full moon there. So this speaks of emotional balance, Virgo, and it does speak of emotional balance in relation to your finances. So there's some sort of emotional drainage going on here and um, you not wanting to fight anymore with this water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're really not wanting to, to take a stand anymore because it's, it's just seeming kind of worthless so we do have the king of swords a significant airy uh a significant aquarius gemini libra energy um and this is a king so they're very mature this might be you virgo if you have a gemini libra aquarius energy but this is about you being very mature about the clarity you're you're getting in august now remember i told you you're dealing with a lot of clarity this month because of the sun in your 12th house the moon in your seventh house and you know so we have the Page of Pentacles. This is about you taking a closer look at something. Um, towards the middle of August, we have the Judgment card. So there's a second chance here at renewal. There's something here that you thought was dead, but it's not, Virgo. You know, the pearly gates are opening. This is Judgment Day. You know, this is uh, Pluto energy. This is really deep subconscious energy in your 12th house. Um, this is Pluto's in Capricorn, so it could have something to do with that. But this is a second chance at a person, place, or thing. But, you know, I see that the, the Fool card is in reverse. So this could be an Aries that's not very happy or a risk that you're not willing to take. Yeah, you're not willing to take a risk for a second chance at something. Because, um, you know, this is like you not giving a second chance to an Aries or you not giving a second chance to any sign. This is you not risking something for a second time. Because the first time you risked it, you know, it, it just it was really, really risky. And now that this is coming back, we do have Mercury retrograde. We have seven planets retrograde. Neptune, Saturn, Pluto, Mars, Chiron. All these planets are retrograde. And, you know, this is about reflecting. Retrograded energy makes us reflect on the past. It brings people back from the past. So this is a judgment energy. This card is, um, it talks about the angels, you know, and the trumpet of truth being played. So there might be some truth that comes out and, um, you know, there's a second chance that is that you're not willing to risk. Um, but there is something here about the Eight of Wands, which is a message coming in about a risk that you're not really wanting to take. Some, I don't know why you feel like this, Virgo, but there's a person, a place, or a thing that you're really not willing to risk. So it's like Virgo won't jump, so Virgo is teleported. Because the Fool card is literally jumping into something new. You know, taking a risk, having a very brand new journey. This isn't Aries energy, so it might have be with an Aries for some of you. But this is in reverse, so you're not taking a leap of faith. You're not jumping. You're not trusting the odds. So you're teleported. See how there's a woman that's sucked into the sky there? Like, the, the, she's being sucked in by the light. So not wanting to take a second chance with something. Not wanting to revive something. Not wanting something to be renewed. But then there's a message that comes in about that. So this could be a message about a job or a text message from a person, place, or thing that is like, hey, Virgo, you know, why don't you want to take a risk? And then there's this black crow there flying. So, you know, that came up in my, my reading for you for uh, the Leo New Moon. So you guys really might want to watch that video because there was a choice there that you had to make and there was a black bird there. So if you see any black crows or anything like that this month, that that's a message for you. Now, this is literally a message coming in, though, about like through a text or something. See how this woman has a piece of paper in her hand. So this might be Virgo messaging someone or Virgo getting a message from a boss, from something. Now, it could be from a Leo because we have the strength card in reverse. So Leo season is pretty reversed for you, Virgo. You know, you're not feeling very strong. This is a message about, uh, it could be from a Leo or it could be in Leo season, but we also have mer uh, the magician here reversed. So Virgo is not feeling strong enough to manifest things right now because you know, you can't see. And then we have the Empress in reverse, which this is, there's two Aries cards here um, that are in reverse. This is also a Taurus. This is also a Libra, okay? And we did have Libra in reverse too. So I want you to know that Virgo, you're not feeling very abundant. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who's pregnant, or maybe you are a Virgo who's pregnant, or you have a, someone else who's pregnant. It could be a Taurus, could be an Aries, or this is just 
you know, you not being able to give birth to something, th this is infertility too. Like maybe you're trying to get someone pregnant or you're trying to get pregnant. Now, Taurus had the Empress in reverse in their reading too. So you might want to watch the Taurus video or the Aries because Taurus, Aries, and, and, and Leo is coming up for you a lot. And now Sagittarius is coming up for you too, Virgo. So this is another mutable energy. This is about you being patient during all the conflict that you're going through, really uh, coming out of mental prisons and you know, coming out of not being able to express yourself. This is a lot of arguing, staying patient while there's a lot of arguing and conflict. And there's a Sagittarius here, okay? This is testing new waters. But what we got going on here is the renewal of something you didn't take a risk on before. You see how there's that zero there? So you didn't take a risk before, but in August, there's going to be a second opportunity for you to take a risk here with this person, place, or thing, job, relationship, home environment, something. Whatever you didn't take a second risk about, Virgo, like this is something you you could you could have took a risk on this before in your past. And this risk is coming back up again like, hey, Virgo, are you ready to take that leap yet? Like this message is going to come in and say, hey, Virgo, are you ready to take that leap? This is very fast movement. So this is going to come in very fast and very quickly in August. And um, it's gonna be it's gonna be in regards to something that you didn't feel strong enough to manifest before. It might have to do with a Leo. It might not. It might have to be do with not having the strength, um, the mental strength. Because right now Virgo is not having the mental strength, and mental strength is how Virgo does everything. That's how they work. That's how they do everything. And right now your minds are not very strong. But there is the Queen of Swords here, which is mental strength. But there's something here about a message here about not feeling strong. This is Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde might be contributing to some of this because this is a Gemini Virgo card. Upright, this is Mercury. This is about being able to manifest uh, emotionally, physically, mentally, and financially. But Virgo is not, Virgo does not feel like they have the mental resources right now. Your mind is not being a very good resource for you in August. And that's because there's a lot going on, Virgo, but you have a lot of knowledge. You just need to know that you have the right amount of tools to get through anything, to get through this risk to, for anything. And then we have this Empress here, which is you not feeling very attractive, Virgo. You're not feeling very, Taurus felt the same way. You're not feeling very uh, fertile. You're not feeling very sexual or, you know, you're feeling, um, you know, there might be a pregnancy here that, that there's something coming up about that, like the loss of a baby or you know, maybe not being in, being able to impregnate someone or maybe regretting a pregnancy or, you know, this is just an unhappy Taurus, an unhappy Aries or an unhappy Libra in your life. This is your love life, Virgo, um, not being very balanced or happy. This is all about abundance and this is about a new beginning. This is beauty. This is Venus energy, okay? And it's upside down. So right now, Venus is not very happy with you, Virgo, but there's a need to stay patient, okay? Because we have the temperance card. So that message wanted to come out for you, Virgo, and I'm just going to get your your last three cards so that we can see the month ahead, okay? So let's get the last three cards for Virgo's August, the, the basically the the start of Virgo season for, for Virgo. The, the next three cards are going to symbolize Virgo, the very, you know, end of August, beginning of Virgo season. So let's see the next three cards for how Virgo ends August and starts out their solar return cycle. So let's get three more cards, please, Universe Spirit, that can better explain and paint a picture for me to talk to Virgo about. Let's go, let's see what's going on with Virgo. So we have the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. Wow. That's interesting, Virgo. That's interesting. Bottom of the deck. I don't know if I was holding that upside down or not. I think I was. Um, the Queen of Wands. So it could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Coming back from your past. This is a reconciliation, Virgo. So let's see this last card for Virgo energy. There it is. The Ace of Wands. Definitely some fiery passion going on uh, at the end of the month. We have the Six of Swords in reverse as the underlying energy with the Emperor behind the Six of Swords. So we'll get it. We'll explain that here in a minute, Virgo. I'm, I'm loving your reading because it's only 30 minutes in, so I've got, like, a lot of time to explain this. But we're going to put this out first because it's, it's, it's done. All right, Virgo. So we've got the month here for you. Underlying energy of not being able to move away, though. Six of Swords in reverse is not moving away from something that is emotionally draining you. 
this is a relationship, a job, like upright. This is a dark cave that these people are either going into or heading out of. So I'm seeing that you're wanting to get out of a very dark cave. You're wanting to get out of a very dark time, Virgo. Um, these waters are very choppy. The emotions have not been very smooth. And um, you're not moving away from emotional turmoil. You know, upright, this, this talks about getting to land, getting to much calmer waters, getting out of that dark cave. But you're kind of staying in that dark cave. You're kind of just sitting there at the entrance. So this is like... Um, you're in the middle of something ending and beginning. Like, you can see the light. You're at the edge of the cave. You've been in this dark cave for, for years, some of you. For at least six months, six weeks, you know. Uh, six years for some of you. Six, three, three. So this could have to do with a heartbreak. Virgo might be going through a double heartbreak. Maybe you got your heart broken twice. Because the three of swords is heartbreak and betrayal. And But you're not moving away from that heartbreak and betrayal. You know, and there's a little kid in this. There's a young boy here in this boat. Okay, so there might be a, a child or a son or something, and there's someone, this is someone who's hidden. You see that creepy figure there? They're not showing their face. So I don't know what that's about, but we'll, we'll get into that uh, when we finish the reading. First, I want to just kind of express what's going on here for the beginning of August. So the Ten of, ten of Coin, the Ten of Pentacles um, is how we start your reading, Virgo. This is... Uh, this is the 10, right? So this is an ending. This is a completion. So this is also in reverse, though. So 10 of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, well, let's talk about it right side up first, and then we'll reverse the meaning for you. So 10 of Pentacles right side up is someone who, this is a family card. This is an ancestral card. This is like a happy home, abundant. Um, there's enough for everybody. This is you wanting enough financial um, resources forever, for every for your children's children's children. For your immediate family now to be able to help people out and extend a lending hand to like this is you really having an abundance of financial and to me this is like birthday presents right this is something like you might just want money this year for your birthday virgo because that's just what it is right so this is you unwrapping birthday gifts or you could be attending a birthday party for a leo this is definitely i don't know if this woman is unwrapping a gift or if she's wrapping a gift you see how that's kind of an interesting message there so is there something that's unraveling this month, Virgo, that's that's a secret gift from the universe? Or is there something that you're planning to wrap up? Is there something wrapping up this month? Like something's wrapping up this month. But this is in reverse. So hopefully you guys aren't feeling this at any birthday parties or any celebrations. But you might not be feeling financially complete. This is like a career energy. The Ten of Pentacles is definitely a Capricorn energy. It's definitely your career. You thinking about your long-term goals financially. So you're like... You know, you're like, do I really want to work here for the rest of my life? Like, I've been working here for X amount of years. I've been, this is what I've been doing for financial stability for so long. And I'm just worried that this is going to fall through. This is Virgo not really feeling the best in August about their financial stability. This is you feeling not complete. Like, there's something that's not ending financially for you that probably needs to end. Um, I don't know why I put this right side up. That's, it's probably because you really need to, to move away from something in August, Virgo. It's a person, it's a place, it's a thing. It's it's something you need to move away from but, um, so that you can go into your birthday month feeling renewed and, and, and definitely new and different, you know. You as an earth sign need to feel this Ten of Pentacles energy all the time. But it's in reverse, Virgo. So there's some, there's some home stuff coming up here. Uh, your home environment might not feel as stable as it's as you want it to or as stable as it used to or is that it needs to be this is instability in the home life this is instability in your family life too and um this is instability financially at your job so there's something here that is not ending the 10 of the t anytime a 10 is in reverse it means that it's over but you're staying there right it's over but you're staying there when you really need to step into your power and step into your authority and step up as a boss you know what I mean like it, this is about you stepping up as a boss because we've got ten of Pentacles in the Aries card so that there's a lot of boss author like this is about you having the authority to do what's right Virgo because this is ended this there's something financial that is over there's something in your family life or something that you're physically involved in that is over it's the ten it's time for you to get the ace of Pentacles but you're not allowing allowing this completion to fulfill you financially so there is no, if you hang on to these little bitty Ten of Pentacles, there's no way you're going to be able to hang on to the Ace of Pentacles, you know. So you're not, and what is the Ace of Pentacles? The Ace of Pentacles is a, is a gift from the universe, and it's something that you're, you need. It's the missing piece. There's something that you, you've been needing 
Virgo, and it's financial. It's something physical that you need, and that's not coming in. It could be a new job for some of you. Some of you really want a new job, but you're not letting go of the old job. You're not taking a risk and jumping into a new career because you're afraid of instability. You know, so, you know, there's something here that needs to end, Virgo, so that you can get that Ace of Pentacles. I would love to see the Ace of Pentacles for you, Virgo. And I didn't open up to it. I'm, I opened up to the uh, the Page of Wands and the Nine of Cups in reverse. So, you know, you're not you're not fulfilled financially where you are. You need to take a closer look at your finances. Um, but before we do that, let's move into this King of Swords energy. So this is a, a masculine energy. It could be a feminine energy, but this is someone who's who talks a lot. This is someone who's very, this could be your energy. This might be the energy you need to embody to move away in August, to, you know, align yourself with these new beginnings that need to happen. Because you got a lot of tens, Virgo, and that means that you have ended a cycle and it's time for you to start something new. So this is you, com this is communication. Um, the King of Swords can be a bit cold. You know, he's not the King of Cups. This is someone who's very outspoken. Like, they can be very cold when they speak. They can be very uh, platonic when they talk. Like, it's they just conversate, and there's real no depth to it. It's all about mental clarity. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, so it's intellectual. This is about you stepping up and being an authority figure, leading in your intellectual world. Like, leading, being a leader intellectually. Being an intelligent leader, leading by intelligence. You know, Virgo, you are intelligent. You're very intelligent. And there's clarity that you need, you know, right now about your career, about your love life, about the past. You know what I'm saying? And there's an energy right now in the universe where we are gaining clarity over the past. So we need to take this little bit of time that Mercury has left to retrograde and really allow us to communicate our truth. You know, the King of Swords is, is always telling the truth. He always, he chooses mental clarity over everything. So if there's something that you're not mentally clear about, you may need to cut that out of your life because we've got the King of Swords. Whenever there's a king that shows up, this is about you being very masculine and not emotional when it comes to cutting people, places, and things off. You know, this could be someone in your life, Virgo, that you could lead by example or you could learn from. Or this could be you being that example for other people, being very mentally clear, being ruled by Mercury. Your mind is very important. So this is thoughts, you being you you being a leader when it comes to your thoughts, having authority over your thoughts, having authority over the communication, saying what you mean, mean what you meaning what you say, Virgo, Queen of King of of uh, King of fucking swords, very 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 clear energy, and you might be speaking to people. Um, I'm sorry, I pick these up and put them down a lot, but. You might be doing a lot of speaking to the younger generation. You know, that might be something that you like to do as far as a career. Like some of you guys are meant to be in a career where you're communicating as a, a leader. You know, this this is telling me that Virgo is not being very respected in the career. That's because you guys are working in places that are not aligned with your true path. So there's a need to take a closer look, a very, very closer look. Now, Virgo, this is perfect for you because you are all about detail, right? So look at this person. With this magnifying glass, she's taking a closer look at what looks like um, some kind of cup. So, you know, this, this could be symbolic for a cup, you know, like what you feel. She's taking a closer look at a cup there. So this is like looking for evidence, you know, looking for proof, looking for fingerprints, looking, looking for more detail, looking through the situation. Now we have these three pinnacles on the table. So this does have to do with your work. It does have to do with your job. It has to do with working together with people. So hopefully you are surrounded by people who allow you to be mentally in, mentally in charge and who who allow you to step up in a, to authority mentally. Hopefully you're communicating with other people who are, you know, truthful and honest and, and things like that. But we have these three pinnacles here telling you to take a closer look at your job, Virgo. You need to take a closer look at how you're earning your money because there's just money all around you, but you're not enjoying the abundance of that because you're too busy unraveling small opportunities when there's more. There's, there's, it's time, Virgo. You've already went through 10th house energy with Gemini. You've already went through 6th house energy with Aquarius. You're about to go through 2nd house energy with Libra. So those are all the houses that, um, those are the earth houses. That's all. This is the Trinity. You know, there was an Earth trine this month with Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. And it is time, Virgo, for you to really pay attention to the details about your money. Where is your money going? You know, this is you really paying attention to receipts. See this pa these papers here? 
So there's something here that you might you might need to, to do. You know, these are empty blank pages. This is the page of pinnacles. So this is a message. Every page is a messenger. So you might get a message. Um, there might be some kind of message that you stumble across. And when you look at the closer details, this might be you at work looking at closer details, you know, um, trying to gain clarity. In order to gain clarity this month, you have to look closer at the details that are related to your job and your money. We have two pinnacle cards surrounding the king of swords so what this is telling me is that there might be an air sign that you work with that's significant for some reason um there might be clarity surrounding your finances this month um you know this is the page of pinnacles so there's two pinnacles surrounding air this is earth and air so this is about becoming grounded mentally grounded grounded mental communicating about your finances, communicating about your worth and your value and your resources, but also working together with other people though. You know, it's interesting that we have two pinnacles here that don't have a star on it and then the other pinnacle right here does have a star on it. So the two of pinnacles is that juggling. You're going to have to stop juggling two different careers or two different ideas like you're really confused about what to do financially like do I quit this job do I start a new job what do I do what do I choose and then there's like this this ace of Pentacles is is trying to be to be given to you this is the ace of Pentacles a new career a new opportunity from the universe a new financial increase or uh, a new something a new journey when it comes to your career um, but the Page of Pentacles, like I was saying, is a, a, it's a new energy. You know, this is an old energy. This is a new energy. This is like the Ace of Pentacles. The Page and the Ace are similar, but the Page is a message. This is about you finding some sort of new inspiration. This is like you planting a new seed at, at the first couple weeks of August. There are details that you're looking through to, to see how can I get this off the ground. You know, what are the steps I need to take in order to you know financially start a new journey now you need to take out some pieces of paper virgo and write down everything you think and feel about this stuff because these pages are blank this is literally the page of pinnacles so you guys need to take out a page of paper and and you might need to turn the page because this is blank like there's nothing for you in this career it's blank there's no inspiration there's barely any money to be made there you know and it's like there's nothing here for you, Virgo, in that career. Now, if this is relationship-wise, then there's nothing there either. You know, it's not grounded. Um, but I don't think that's where this is going for you, Virgo. I feel like this is about you becoming mentally clear about your finances. And you are an earth sign. So finances is really important to you, Virgo, because you are the sixth house of work and lifestyle. So work is a huge part of Virgo's lifestyle, being the sixth house of work, health, and lifestyle. So please make sure that your health, right here, your health and your work and your lifestyle are all grounded and valued. This is also grounded energy. You're not feeling very grounded financially, but when you become more clear, when you start speaking up and taking authority, then there's going to be a new, this is a new opportunity, but you're going to have to look a little bit harder at the details for it. There's, there's something right under your nose, Virgo. You just need a magnifying glass. So that's the first couple weeks of August. The second week of August looks completely different. It might be because you guys start a new job. If you guys are starting anything new in the career, it might not be a new job. What if you guys just step up? You know, what if you guys are just getting a promotion? What if you guys are just becoming bosses or something like that? I do see an energy here about that because you weren't being appreciated before. But when you start speaking up and threatening to leave and stuff like that, then there might there might be some conversations that start. This is conversations happening about your career in August, Virgo. Uh, things that are being talked about and spoken about. These new ideas that you have. You might want to share your ideas um, about your career. But the, there's something that happens after that page of Pentacles. After Virgo finds that hidden coin, you guys might find hidden money somewhere. You know what I mean? Because there's like a magnifying glass there. So you might stumble upon money or stumble upon a new job opportunity that was like hidden in the shadows. Well, it's interesting that we enter the second week or the second half of August with the Two of Cups because this is a reconciliation. This is love, okay? This is literally love. This is two birds there. If I'm a bird, you're a bird type of thing. Like I'm whatever you are. Like I, this is equal amount. Like this is two people with a cup. They're toasting. So you might celebrate a new career with someone. You might... There might be a turnaround in Virgo's finances, and when Virgo is feeling happy financially at their job, 
then they start being able to be better partners. So as something changes in your work environment, as something changes about your mentality uh, in your work environment, um, you know, this is you being more loving and you feeling like that just goes hand in hand with Virgo. Like Virgos, like I like one of my friends told me, Virgos are in relationships with their jobs. And that makes sense, you know, the Virgo, my Virgo friend, that's what she told me. She's like, you know, I'm in a relationship with my job. And, you know, I think of my job as like a, a relationship. So with that being said, you know, this could be a reconciliation with your finances. Like, you know, you might really reconcile with a job from your past or like maybe you go, go backwards or maybe there's something from your past that comes up. And, you know, that's damn sure. That's damn true. Because we have two cards here that talk about the past. We have the two of cups and the six of cups. Virgo, this is a very beautiful energy. By the end of August, you're going to be joining with some sort of soulmate. You're going to be reconciling with some, um, rejoining, re a, recon a reconciliation, a reconcile is when two things come back together after being apart for a while. So, you know, with this being the Six of Cups, this could be your a son energy uh, because I do see that this woman has a little a child. So this could be you rejoining um, with your son, you know, or just something from the past that has to do with a child. Uh, but this is coming back together, Virgo, like you and this small child or you and the, the, the father of your child. This could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy because we do have two water energy. So this is emotion. This is you willing to share your emotion with a person from your past because this is a soulmate energy. Now, I'm really tripping about this two of cups and this six of cups because the two of cups is literally like someone who this is a relationship. Two people that are good together, that share emotions with each other. Nobody's giving more than the other. Like, this is a perfect match. This is a very strong emotional bond between two people. And it's and to me, the Two of Cups has become a reconciliation card. So this is you coming together. Now, this might not be someone you've been with before, but I really feel like it is, Virgo. That someone from your past is coming back before Mercury goes back direct. Or when Mercury comes back direct, someone from your past comes back. Because this is a reconciliation, which is talks about, obviously, to reconcile, you had to have something before with this person, right? And then we have the Six of Cups, which is talking about nostalgia for the from the past. It's, it's often children or romance or, you know, you reminiscing on the past. So, Virgo, there might be someone that comes into your life at the end of August that really brings up a lot of emotion from the past. Like, they're just from your past. I don't know if this is romantic or if this is... um. Oh, yeah, Virgo, you know, dude, uh, yeah, dude, <laughs> um, that full moon at the end of the month is in your seventh house, so that full moon is gonna really start some new stuff for you, Virgo, so pay attention to how your romance is, because if there's someone new, you might, they might work with you, like, they might be at your job or something, because this is you really connecting with a person from your past, they might be younger than you, they might be older than you, there's an age difference here, but there's also, it's like at a soul level, you guys are the same age. Like you guys are just in love and it's it's someone from your past. The full moon might bring that up because the full moon is, is featuring Neptune retrograde. So that's a lot of illusions coming back from the past, a lot of feelings coming back from the past. Now, I don't know if this is a relationship for all of you, but for 99% of you, it is because of that full moon in your seventh house of relationships. Now, whatever this is, Virgo, this is going to spark something. This is going to spark something because now we have the Ace of Wands. You end August feeling on fire. This is passion, sex. This is um, a new beginning, a new fiery beginning with a person, place, or thing. And look at the fall trees. So you're starting out the fall season. Remember, Virgo, we get into Virgo season. This is the fall when the leaves start changing. So this is like a spark of a new path. And this is like something that's going to be with you throughout the fall. This is transformation, death and rebirth, um, the fall energy, the fall equinox, like September energy, October, November energy. Those months are going to be very sparked with passion because of this new career, because of this new person. Like someone comes back from your past, whether it's a past life, this is a past life connection, but they spark something. This is a nostalgic. Now this could be, for those of you who aren't resonating with um, a person coming back from your past, this is lovely, Virgo. I am psychic and I feel some kind of connection coming back from the past, Virgo. But the Six of Cups is also a childlike energy. So this is you really connecting to your childhood. Maybe some of you have to, maybe some of you are about to go into places that you were from a child. This is about you connecting with people from your childhood. This could be like a childhood lover 
or a childhood best friend that you connect with. I don't know if it's romantic or what, Virgo. It's almost like my guides are not letting me know. Um, I don't want to put my personal awareness in, in the middle of it all. So this is for you to decide, Virgo. But the past is coming back. There's a lot of emotion that is not um, ended. No wonder you're not moving away because you're, there's something here. You don't want to move away from this person because you're a, they're a soulmate and they give you energy. This is like Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, but it might not be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It's just this person or place or thing sparks something in you, Virgo, and it transforms you. It's like you start, sh you are a tree, Virgo. You're an earth sign and your leaves start changing because of this person. They start changing you. So this is a, there's definitely something here about a new career because the page of pentacles with the ace of wands, that's like you taking a closer look at your finances and really starting to express yourself in a different way. Like this is you manifesting something, Virgo. You're manifesting love. You're manifesting finances. This is you feeling, you're going to, I feel like you're going to end the note, the, the month on a good note. And it might, you might fall in love, Virgo, with somebody. It could be an air sign. There could be um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming back from the past. This is going to confuse some of you. Okay, because this is from your, this is someone who's from your childhood. Look at all these children in this picture. So this is someone that, this is a childhood sweetheart, a childhood soulmate or something that, you know, they might not be in a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you, they are. For others of you, this is you communicating with them. Like you're going to start messaging them. You're going to start texting them. And this is going to bring up a lot of emotion from the past, uh, Virgo. And you guys are going to reconcile. Okay? Now let's talk about the, the bottom of the deck here. Six of Swords in reverse. You're not moving away from something. Everything on this table, you are not moving away from a career. You're not moving away from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're not moving away from uh, something that you discover new detail about. You're not moving away from it because you think there's still something here, Virgo. This is career. So the reason why you're not accepting the Ace of Pentacles yet is because you, you want to take what you've earned from the, this. You've spent a lot of time here. This is a, the Ten of Pentacles. So you want this to matter in your long in, in the long run. So you're probably trying to, to occupy this certain job or financial endeavor because this there's something here that can grow. You know, the Page of Pentacles is, is growth. It, it speaks of an opportunity to grow. It's a very new energy, okay? But Six of Pentacles, you know, you're not moving away from certain financial things this month. You're not moving away from certain air signs, from certain thoughts. You know, this is an, an air thought energy too, the Six of Swords. So this is like you not mentally moving away from something financial, from some sort of, sort of love. Maybe you were about to leave, but you are not leaving because, because this person, place, or thing, you love this person, this job, this place, this, this something, you're emotionally invested in it. And there's a connection here. And it's connected to your past and to, to the new beginning. Now, this might have to do with an Aries that you work with. Or there might be an Aries involved because this is this is the emperor. If it's not an Aries, this is a father figure, the father of your children, your father. Um, this this is an Aries parent that might be coming in to help you. They might not, uh, might not be working too good with you, though. If you work with any Aries or if your boss, your boss at work is coming up, Virgo. Because we have the... Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles, remember, there's three Pentacles on this table. So I told you that there was something here about working together, okay? So you need to work together with your boss. You know, this is about you becoming a boss. And some of you really will might be promoted to, to a boss. Um, and you're going to need to really w turn things around. Because right now, things are, I don't know if this is a relationship or if this is at work. But something ain't working together. Because this is uh, right side up. And this is, this is working together as a team. Teamwork. Make the dream work. This ain't teamwork. This is somebody, like, there, there's something here about a boss, because Aries, is the emperor is about a boss, authority, um, power, and you have the power to change this situation, Virgo. That might be why you're not moving away from this these three pinnacles, because you've been asked to help these three pinnacles. Like, somebody might ask you to, to kind of, you know, since you're good at details, Virgo, they're going to ask you for financial details. They're going to, they're going to ask you for your help to take a closer look at something because and it might be an Aries, it might be a Leo, it might be a Sagittarius, it might be your boss or your father or someone who you look up to because this is you becoming a boss and I want to put it this way because this this boss, look at how he's pointing his wand, right, at this, this um these three people or these team, these co-workers, they're co-workers or they're, they're just, 
I don't know what this means, but this could be a family life or a third party situation for some of you with, that involves an Aries um, that isn't working together. Like these three people are no longer working together. So the emperor is here to take his power back. You might have Aries energy, Virgo. I'm not sure. But this is about you stepping into your power at your job, taking financial authority and starting to command things like a king. You know what I'm saying? Like it's time for you to actually have something to hold on to. You know, you're a Virgo, you need physical evidence. And right now, there's no physical evidence of your job really working out or of finances really working together. Uh, there, this might be you commanding um, the end to a third party. And I do see Aries a lot for some of you because we have the King of Wands in reverse now. And we have the King of Cups. So two kings. Some of you guys need to choose between a fire sign and a water sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. These people... They're not looking like they're step. They're, this is you not taking authority um, as far as your passions and your creativity, Virgo. You're not talking. You're not expressing yourself. The King of Wands is expressing itself by writing. You're not expressing yourself, Virgo. You're not taking creative action. Also, you're not feeling very emotionally or passion. You're not expressing your emotion. Here you go. Two kings, two masculine energies. It could be two male water sign fire sign energy but there these two people are not happy this aries leo sagittarius this pisces cancer scorpio and that's why there's no commitment there's no commitment here this is the wedding card so i'm not sure if some of you guys are there's weddings or if you're married or, or i don't know but this is not good this is not feeling like you're celebrating something this could be with a water sign or a fire sign or with an aries or something that you didn't walk away from but this is like not getting a commitment not getting married you know some of you might not not want to follow through now this is the tower in the four of wands guys so there could be a relationship commitment that kind of falls apart it might be with the scorpio um because the scorpio card is the tower card but the tower is a sudden ending so i'm seeing that there's a sudden ending that happens here could have to do with all this career stuff like maybe you guys decide to stay at a career and that just pisses off the wife or the husband and some of you guys are really in, involved in your career virgos are uh, trust me i've been with a virgo before Virgos are very consumed with their finances and they let their relationships fall through because of that. So be very careful, Virgo, um, because there's an opportunity here that you're missing with a relationship. So hopefully you just make the right decision according to your own personal path. But there is something, there's a tower moment in August that you want to look out for in your relationship because this is a wedding, this is a divorce. Oh, for some of you, this is a divorce. This is Hopefully you're the one that wants a divorce, Virgo, so that you're not getting hurt. Hopefully Virgo is just like, hey, you know, I just don't really want to marry you. I want to get a divorce. This isn't, I'm not in it. There's a third party situation here that I, I don't know. I'm confused between two. There's two people involved. Um, this is falling apart. This is something that ends suddenly, but it needs to end because the foundation was not firm. So this might not be a relationship for some of you. The Four of Wands also talks about a home environment. So this could be the fourth house of home. Could be with a Sagittarius for some of you. Um, but this could be something falling apart in the home life. Now, see, that goes hand in hand with marriage, though. Because if your marriage falls apart, your relationship falls apart. If your relationship falls apart, your home environment falls apart. Your home environment falls apart, everything comes tumbling down, and the tower comes, and it's over. Now, Virgo, we talked about this Ace of Pentacles a lot in your reading. We had the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Well, now we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So there's something here about your finances, dude. And, you know, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse might be you not... You might not you might not accept this big old coin from the universe and I don't know why because this ace of pentacles has been what you're waiting on this is a new beginning this is something that the universe tries to give you but it might not be able to give it to you the ace of pentacles is in reverse because the ten of pentacles is in reverse so be careful all the energy that you're putting into this dumb job or this dumb thing Virgo because it's not worth it you're gonna miss out on this big coin this is like money man this is a new something that the universe is trying to give you that you need but, you know, we have the High Priestess in reverse, so it's linked to something that you can't see. It's linked to a secret. It's linked to you not feeling fulfilled with your wishes. Um, some of you are not. Like, we have the Lovers. This is a Gemini for some of you. Um, some of you, there, there's a wish here. Not, not, you're not feeling very emotionally fulfilled in, in, in your love department. This is a decision that you need to make in a relationship. And it has to do with your emotional fulfillment. It has to do with, um, you know, you and what you want right now, Virgo, what you're wishing for. We do have the lovers in the Ace of Cups. So some of you have a Gemini new love coming. 
some of you guys have just straight up new love because this is the lovers and the ace of cups so there's new love for you virgo coming in august straight up two of cups six of cups ace of cups lovers good luck love 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 welcome to the seventh house um pisces now we've got gemini and capricorn now be careful because this could be very toxic but i don't think so i don't think that this is the devil um as far as toxicity i think this is a capricorn for some of you that um you know that you're really happy with or something because now we have a leo a capricorn a gemini um so lots of significant energies coming up but this is happiness this is you becoming aware of you know a very karmic relationship with a capricorn or this might be a karmic a karmic happiness like this is you this is the sun you're very happy with this capricorn um this is a new love coming in but you need to you have a decision to make between two people virgo between two things so holy fucking cow virgo very interesting reading um i knew i knew it would be interesting because of that full moon in pisces at the end of the month and because you know virgo season is coming a lot about love a lot about career um a lot about your fine foundation and your stability so hopefully you enjoyed that reading virgo i think it was very informative and um i felt a lot of fun energies just for those of you who are open to love man there's going to be a lot of different options coming in with that full moon in pisces so thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Um, you know, please subscribe and reach out to me. I, I don't read for many Virgos, but I would love to, you know, reach out to more Virgo energy. And, uh, you know, because we're opposite signs, so we kind of connect in that way. So uh, hope you, hopefully you guys have a great August. Happy birthdays to those of you who have August birthdays. Happy solar return. And uh, things are going to start getting a lot easier for you, Virgo, as we become closer to this earth-grounded energy. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you um, on the Pisces full moon. If we talk there, if I don't see you there, then I'll see you in September. Bye.